right, good morning everybody. It is day two of the Hurricane Franklin swell. And I'm actually starting off at a new hospital today. So I'm just getting ready. The boards are in the car for later. It's, uh, I have to work all day, but you know, then it looks like I'll be able to get a sunset session in. And uh, yeah, right now we're headed out. This place is actually only 13 minutes away from my parents' house, but I left like an hour and 15 minutes early just because it's so weird, like tricky how to get there. And then once you do get there, like parking near the hospital, what room you actually have to go into. And then you also want to be like presentable. So you have to leave like an hour and 15 minutes early. I made it to the new hospital and we're off. As I already went to the wrong building once. So right now we're going to head to the next building. I went to the children's hospital by accident. Made it to where orientation is happening. happening. I'm either the first person here or in the very wrong spot, so we'll see what happens. All right, young Groms, I just got out of orientation and then ate like some like chocolate cereal snack, so that's why there's stuff on my face. But yeah, I'm stoked right now. Um, I really, I think this new program is pretty cool. Uh, first day went well, but what's more awesome is that the more I look into this field that of medicine that I want to go into the more I realize I'm in the right place, I'm among the right people, and I think it's gonna be the right job for me. I haven't made a video yet about like what particular doctor I'm gonna be, but uh, I wanna come up with that soon. So right now we're actually zooming over to hang out with Christina and her dad for a little bit, and then after that, I gotta eat, do some paperwork, and maybe get an evening session in tonight, so we're stoked right now. up at 5.45, but I just spent like the whole morning making a smoothie. I don't know why it took me like 30 minutes to do that, but we're on the road right now. It's the next day. I didn't surf last night. There's definitely going to be waves today, but the wind is going to come up out of the east pretty heavy, so we're rushing down to the beach right now. It's only like one feet at like nine seconds from the east right now, but it should be building all day, and the wind's supposed to be light right now at least. I'm in a little bit of a rush to get out there because if it comes up out of the straight east, it's just not going to be any good. But I'm fired up. I'm ready to rip. I'm going to take the shortboard out first, even though it's probably like mini Simmons right now. I'm just like really stoked on my shortboard, so I want to ride it. All right, we'll see you out there. Surfers, don't you fear, cause Santa's here. Oh well now Santa, well you know what I want this year Oh will you please be nice to me And bring a surfboard nine for three Oh Christmas is near, it only comes once a year Oh well I lost my boat one day last summer Oh it had ten dings in the sides and the rails the skeg was busted off Santa Some baggies and a customized woody Well now Santa Just to listen what I gotta say Oh, I'll give up the honeys and the parties too And I'll be a loyal fan of the Rudolph and you I'd ask for no more So Santa now don't you fear All right, guys, I was actually ripping, I felt like, on the uh, the green board. Like, I'm just so obsessed with The Witcher. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm fired up right now. Like, I think I'm going to go try and set up the mount of cam. It might rain, but I'm just obsessed with this board. Like, it's so light, it's so rem rem maneuverable, and if I can actually get it on a proper wave and I can actually, like, put my feet in the right spot, and perform myself there's nothing wrong with the board like it's perfect it allows me to do whatever i want and if i was a rich man i'd buy like three or four just stringerless epoxy eps witchers um yeah <laughs> i'm just i just love the board i'm just stoked on it um but yeah i'm actually gonna try to set up the mount of cam 
Um, I've already been surfing for a little bit. I didn't even check the time, but I have some blueberries here. You guys know I like to eat healthy, and I just eat a ton of blueberry. Yeah, I'm fired up right now. Uh, same board, new camera. Let's do it. All right, guys, unfortunately, some pretty sad news. As you guys know, this is my favorite board, and I text Timmy all the time saying, like, I love this board. It's the best board I've ever ridden. It's even better than, like, my DFR Channel Islands. I like it better than my Channel Islands Black Beauty, but it's, it's stringerless, and I think I just love the freedom of being able to rip it up. But two waves ago, I just buckled the nose. I don't know if you guys can see that. So mad. I had this crease on the bottom over here. I'm so bummed. It's the it's right before the swell. I creased my board. You guys can see that. I don't want to go put it in the shop because there's this point break out east I've been just like dying to surf. It's like my life's goal to like go surf this wave. This is just really complicated because the easy answer is just get another board. Like you surf so much, you love to surf so much just get another surfboard. Like, you get your money's worth tenfold out of every surfboard you have. And I just sold all my surfboards. But I just sold all my surfboards because I'm broke and I'm trying to fly around the world and surf before I start residency. And I'm a med student. I was in the same, like, conundrum last year. But you guys came through, you guys helped me. And you guys helped me buy a wetsuit so I could surf through the winter and be warm. And I ran a marathon back it up I didn't just say like hey guys I want money I was like I'm gonna raise money I'm gonna run a marathon but I just don't feel comfortable asking you guys for like a surfboard and trying to run I had like an idea like I'd run three marathons over like three months and then try to ask you guys to donate like but I just don't feel like comfortable doing that and like I want to get a job I've been looking into like teaching like Spanish online or teaching English online to like foreign people uh, for like 10 bucks an hour because I could work remotely but like I already work so hard at medicine and I work so hard at this and I want to be like happy with my friends and family which I like neglect already because I'm a med student but because oh, I loved this board too I loved this board so much like I don't know if you can see it but like I just buckled the nose and like I was trying to like not ride it as much actually because like I knew it's stringerless and I just loved how like it ripped how like I could rip on it. I felt like I was doing my best surfing ever. I wanted to like wait for like an epic day at this point break out east and like take it out there and show you guys like that I could really rip on it. And I just wanted to surf it out there because I'm like, this would be awesome. But like, and it like, I know it's, it's the balance between performance and like durability. And it was just such an awesome board to ride. Like I truly liked it better than the Channel Islands Black Beauty, my favorite board of all time. I liked it better than the Neckbeard. It was, it was just like a board that fit me. I don't know what to do with it now. I'm not gonna run three marathons. Like my body like can't take that. I know I could do it, but I just don't know. Yeah, I'm at a point like I just don't know what to do. And I really like, I really have these trips planned so I can like make something of myself. And like, I don't know. Just bummed. I just love this thing. I love this board. I'm stoked on it. I love it. I just love this board. I don't want to see it go. And like, yeah, if I had a lot of money, I would just get another one, but I don't. And I need to save money. Like, I've gone four years losing $80,000 every year. And when I'm a resident, I'm only going to make minimum wage for how many hours I work. So I just don't know what to do right now. All right, young grums, we're in the back of the van right now. Sorry if I just had a breakdown over just chipping my board a little bit, but I really just love it. And it's just kind of hard, like dealing with the financial aspects of going to med school. And, but I'm just going to get to work right now. I'm actually going to start editing this video right now. I'm going to get it out today. Um, I want to invest in my channel. I want to invest in my surfing. I want to invest in my education. And that investment right now is just hard work. I might not ha have a lot of money, but I have a boatload of work ethic. I have work ethic beyond belief. So I can do something with that. I love hanging out in the truck. My truck actually has been on its last few legs, but I got some blueberries. So, you know, it's a good day.